What's up guys, I'm Cory for Some Guys Gaming, and welcome to Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Okay, uh, I am a fan of Sherlock Holmes' crimes and punishments. I just beat it recently. So I can play this, so I know what's going on, because I think there's a story to it. Like, this is the same company, and I heard there was a lot of problems to this game, like, it's not the same voice actors, and... It's not the same style as it was, like in Crimes and Punishments. Well, I I haven't played the first one. I'm pretty sure there was a Sherlock Holmes games before Crimes and Punishments. And I haven't played it, but I'm pretty sure this takes after Crimes and Punishments. Because I've seen the ending and I was like, oh, it kind of makes sense. So, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it, because I'll... I love like detective crime thriller th thrillers like LA Noir or Nore or however you want to say that Rockstar games um I just like those games I don't know why but I really do I, I just like trying to figure out who's the bad guy why did he do it and finding clues to capture the right criminal Okay, let's let's start the shit. Why is it like all like jaggedy and shit? I might have to change that. Forty-eight hours earlier. Shit. Oh, they kept it the same. Hello. <laughs> oh, I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No. No. Please do come in. Who the hell is that? My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh. I didn't have the pleasure to. Uh, oh. I am Doctor John Watson. Doctor Watson. Can provide you with any assistance. Oh, you can tell it's different voice actors. Concern, Watson. Yeah, you can. I'm. <laughs> then what is this about? Oh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold, and he is upset. What happened to him? Little just heard something. knocked at the wrong door. Oh. Crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Bouvier? Well, I... Uh... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who, are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. <laughs> well, Mr. Holmes is relaxed. She doesn't know half of it. His illness that he has seizes him when or he any finds of himself it. with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Well? Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. I, I do have to know, like, some people think, like, you know, the you, this art style from the last game, Crimes and Punishments. Um, it seems like Sherlock Holmes was a lot older and Dr. Watson, too. Like, they were older. 
And some people say like, oh, this new game, they seem like they're younger. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't fit into like a follow up to Crimes and Punishments. So uh, it, it is a little weird when I hear them and see their art. And I'm just like, this is, they're like younger. Okay, let's just play this. Why are you here, I'm bitch? You, boy, what brings you here? It's, it's my father, sir. He's missing. I, I don't know what to do. Man, I hate it for you. I really do. Okay, we can uh, go around and you got some. Okay, let's. Looks like recent weeping. Okay, um, the fuck is that shit? Pale skin, mild, mild, okay. Okay, Tom, his name's Tom, 1887, is eight years old. It still has the style of crimes and punishments that I still like and love. Uh, is that a ticket? Okay, we go around here, then we check his hand. Now, what is he? Mouth for, okay. Okay, it's not natural. Does it look broken? Honestly, it looks malformation, or how, however you say that. I'm not making fun of him, just... I don't know how to say that word. Okay, there, I'm missing something. Oh. Poor? Oh, caring parents. Character portrait complete! Okay, Tom is eight years old. His clothes are well worn and has multiple patches neatly applied. Tom's parents are concerned for his well being. His pale skin indicates that he is suffering from malnutrition. He looks sad and has red eyes. He has been weeping very recently. Tom's malformation could have been caused by his mother's poor nutrition during pregnancy. Damn. <clears throat> What's your name? What's his name? Oh. George Horst, sir. Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie. Uh, the police, they don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. Please say he just abandoned me. No. You have caring parents. Why can't I click the third one, bitch? I mean the second one. The one in between. Obviously. Your clothes are well mended and you can read. Your parents may be poor, but you are loved. Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. My mother died when I was a little one. Shit. That's just one more reason for not leaving you. Your father doesn't seem the irresponsible type. He's very good to you. Well, that's right. But he has no fixed work, so he often takes odd jobs for the day. Because that's all he can find. Only this time, he didn't come home. Huh. What happened? And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. Strange how? Strange? In what way? He said to me, Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Hmm. Took a dangerous job, it seems like. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look after myself. Can you... Shit. What do you mean, sir? Nothing. I was digressing. I fucked up. No! Can I go... Shit. I fucked that Very up. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. In the old one, when you fuck up like that. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But 
I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case Hold on. seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. Anyways, uh, in crimes and punishments, when you, uh, if you have edi evidence, if they're talking, and, you know, I pressed X, and I caught them, like, I caught them lying to me. So, uh, when you done that on crimes and punishments, that, uh, it lets you pick again, which I did like, because I was trying to understand, uh, like, there were some of them, like, I just didn't know what to pick. So I went over and kept clicking on the <laughs> bad ones until I got the right one. Then, you know, Sherlock Holmes, he would be like, Ah, no, you didn't. Blah, blah, blah. Then I kind of just uh, learned from it. Brave Toby. Best nose in the British Empire. I do not like his voice. It's not the same as the old one. Uh, this is open world? What? Uh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're... The Whitechapel. These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Twelve. Here we go. Okay, it's room E. Must be upstairs. Let's go. Hello, knock knock. Who's there? No one. No one who. Tis at home, Mr. Holmes. Old clothes. Something in the pocket. Piece of paper. Grab that shit. The old tabard pub. The best choice of beers. The old tabard pub, North Street. So uh, we're just going to look around to see if there's anything useful. The Valley Company. It's rent, I guess. Was rent. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. Okay. My mother saw. She died when I was very young. My father told me. Where the that hell are her, you? But that's all I have. Where? Where is that kid? I'll slap him. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup. A clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. Okay. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Has he been keeping the kid by himself? I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. Like, he's been away for three weeks. A collection of worn out and second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Okay. Father bought all those books for me. Where are you? He didn't oh, tell there me, you are. But I know that he pawned his coat for them. A collection of worn out and Father bought Okay. Okay, um, what's this? The Strand magazine. Huh. Let's open it. So that's why you came to see me. Why? Because he heard about you? Tom probably reads at night. Yeah, probably. Okay, um, objects marked with the NAMP symbol are to be used further in your investigation. Like, I remember this shit. We should go upstairs. Drips. The roof leaks all the time. Does it? Father used to fix it. George Hurst's work was varied. He was evidently a hard-working and valuable hand. Uh, oh, here we go. Probably taken from a wall. Yep. Probably ripped it off. And there will be a couple of times that I'll 
look at like evidence or objects then I have to go back to them because I didn't fully look over the objects like this white old clothes soiled and worn hold on yeah okay and now it's green I think when it's white you haven't fully uh, completed looking yet or unless it's a door like you see there so uh, see what's up here I'm up bitch Sherlock come on okay here's a box dark. I can't see anything oh no we grabbed the lamp now okay grab it and the matches yeah okay tab it tab it hit this uh yeah it'll tell me oh you got it which I already know in the process okay go up climb up climb up oh ho, ho, ho. set it there okay what's in here what's in there what's in it what's this what was your dad doing hello there George I know that it's difficult for you to find a job and you need to feed and clothe your son so I've attached to this lever letter a pub leaflet I've heard that there is a fellow there who is offering a special job. Maybe it will help you. I hope so. Good luck. I hope I said that right. Leaflet. Okay, was that all? Well, we know that he was trying to get this job. Some old things. Okay, no use for us to be up there now. The kid. The old Tabard pub? Did you hear anything about it from your father, Tom? My father's a regular, but he's not a drinker, sir. It's close by on North Street. Okay. Should we go there? I think we should. Let's go there. Okay, I came through here, and there's a cutscene. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins. Oh, Wiggins! You found yourself a job. If you can call it that. I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me, I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. Bitch. Oh, okay. It's not recognizable. <laughs> uh, who's all here? To Earwig to find out who is offering this special job. Earwig. My god, he looks... Oh, is that him? Nope. Nope. Eh. 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 <laughs> My god, that's... That's hard. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. Did we get anything out of that shit? I don't know. Shit. Okay. Stay in the middle. Come on. Equality for the working class. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. Let's hear this, these bitches. No, no, no. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he never drinks alcohol. Ooh. So, the man I'm looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. Sounds like your man. Hello? It might be him. It's him. I knew it was him. My oh, damn. He's not drinking anything, just coffee. Probably. I'm not sure. Water. Got special jobs they're giving this must people. Be the man that I'm looking for. Yes, let's just keep watch. Should we skip time? <laughs> I 
Thirty minutes later, holy shit. What are you gonna do? Get up and leave. in it. Interesting. A missing person. I should find out more. Okay, what did it say? Um, missing. Okay, at the start of October, Mr. John Strowbridge went missing from Dorset Street under mysterious circumstances. If you have any information, please contact Mrs. Stro Strowbridge at 5 Dorset Street. Thank you in advance for any, any information or help. <laughs> Strowbridge. There's like a lot of names that are familiar in crimes and punishments that I can't uh, find out. Dump the bosses off your backs. Yeah. <clears throat> you see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. Thank you, Wiggins. All right, Mr. Holmes. Oh shit, I have to be the kid. He already walked away, didn't he? Run. Is that him? Okay. That's him. Hug the wall. <laughs> cover, 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 cover! Cover! There you go. Should we peek up? Me? Shit. Why are you stuck? Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> yeah, cover. I don't Shut up, you drunk. I don't oh. <coughs> Rush it. <coughs> Clap. No. Oh my god, I've been chasing this motherfucker fucker forever. Boy, what are you, doing in my garden? you need to shut your damn mouth. This way. I can't lose him now. Taps and sprint. Sprint, sprint, sprint! I see you with that slow mo. I see you. What's in there? Interesting. What's going on in the yard? God damn, you're going to get caught. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's climb up and over and see what he's doing in there. Hey, which one is it, him? two people live here. I wish one was me. Yeah. Bags of food. I like this ass. There's gotta be more. Wow. A lot of expensive stuff. Yes. Um, a lot of guns. See that shit? What's that? A coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. Hope the drawing's Mr. better Holmes. than mine. Let's get outside before I get caught. Let's go this way. Okay, jump in a cutscene. Man, that took longer than I expected it to be. From like a little submission. It, it took too long. Obviously, it it did.
I didn't like it. Wigan's tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? It's coat of arms. Uh, examine. Wiggins did a good job. Yeah, but I don't know what it... Search archives. Oh, okay. Okay, let's we'll search the archives. Um, examine co coat of arms. Blah. Okay. English coat of arms. The coat of arms of the Marsh family. Nowadays, the representative of this family is Lord Edward Marsh, the well-known benefactor. He provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, etc. Lord Marsh is also renowned as a co-founder of the special education program, which allows poor people the opportunity of an education. Lord Marsh resides at 3 Mainsbury Road, London. Here it is. Okay. So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Well, he gives the people jobs, but we're trying to figure out why is he giving them dangerous jobs. Mr. Holmes, you have a it seems like it. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? You will tell me, won't you, Father? No. Don't do it! But you'll make Watson jealous. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? Wow, she reminds me of Sherlock a lot. Okay, examine the item brought in by Wiggins. Completed. Yes. All right, guys, I'm going to have to end it here. Uh, I've been playing for like an hour. So, <laughs> I've been trying to get a lot of information out this I was trying to actually solve this one case because they like the first case there's not really that much you do just you know it's kind of like a warm-up case for you but I was trying to get it done but wow this it, it's taking forever I know there's certain like when I cut this video it's gonna be probably short shorter than expected because I played it for an hour and I could probably fit it for 15 minutes, probably. But anyways, uh, I love y'all. Subscribe to us. Share it with your friends. Like it if you want to see more. Please like it because I do like puzzle games, mystery games, you know, detective. I love doing that shit. But if you don't like it, oh well. Um, I might have enough another episode just to complete this case. And, you know, if y'all like it, you know, like it up. I will keep playing it but anyways uh i think that's pretty much it so i guess i'll see you guys next time